All right. Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanics. So, uh, I had a couple of suggestions like painting the, the horns white and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to nix that idea just because um, I don't really have much of a choice here. Uh, this is dawn of the final day. I need to get this thing flying. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to be playing multiplayer. Finally. Again. I'm stoked. And I can't wait to do it, but it means that I need to get this guy working. So that means we're going to have to go with the uh, the easiest, most obvious answer. What I'm going to do here is effectively put a runner down the center. Ooh. This is going to be a bit heavy, but it will keep it bottom heavy. Uh, so it will be worth it. Okay, so where are those? Where's that invisible block? There we are. Hopefully I'm going to be able to see this. Yeah, okay, cool. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna have a runner. Uh, running the entire center point of, uh, Ultra Slug Yilla made out of invisible blocks. Why? Uh, because this is the only way that we're gonna be able to get this thing to... I mean, honestly, it's incredibly well balanced. So, it's not too big of a deal. Um, but the reason why we want to do this is, uh... I assume a number of you guys saw the previous episode. I hope a number of you guys saw the previous episode. Um, but, uh... You know what? This is fine. <laughs> I'm fine with him being slightly on his side. This will be all balanced out once we, once we uh, clear off some of the chaff. Uh, it's kind of impressive how much just a couple of ultralight... Uh, how much a couple of light blocks can make with a build like this. Uh, but yeah, so last episode, we ended with the game more or less shitting itself. Reason why is because I couldn't figure out where to put the lift uh, on such a large thing, because the lift is kind of this like weird center point, and I can show you guys what I'm talking about mom uh, momentarily, as soon as I get this in. Uh, but it always goes for the center point on a thing, but it was too high up, and so it was, it was having problems. So... I decided to try and fix that. And I fixed it by just putting these ultralights across the center. Uh, or down the center. But, uh, that is super ugly, and I really don't want to have a bunch of ultralights, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have some invisible blocks instead. It seems like the best possible alternative that I could possibly have here. I really like the invisible blocks. Some part of me kind of wishes I had actually made, like, really small looking fish. Oh wait, no, I could a I could actually have Durf material edit this thing to be made entirely out of Uh-oh. Uh to be made entirely out of invi invisible blocks. I might send him a message about that later. And do like the final uh Ultra Slugula episode where he's uh in invisible or something hilariously awkward name-wise like that. That'd be nice. Uh, just because it'd, it'd be really funny, at least in my opinion. Yeah, this is why this is why it tipped over. Okay, so I'm gonna extend this back just a little bit further. Um, did we did we find it on the first try? Yeah. Okay. So that's that's the center point. I'm just gonna leave the brace there just in case I cut it off on the other side. Okay, there we go. So let's get rid of the ultra heavies. Which knocks this thing on its ass. But yeah, if you notice, it now goes on a lift without complaint. Mostly without complaint. Okay, um we need to get rid of the ultra lights, and we gotta get the uh invisible blocks. Uh, filled in properly. So here's what we're gonna do. Cut that off. Is that good? It looks... It's looking good to me. And yeah, we're still listening to OC... Uh, not OC Remix. Uh, no copyright sounds. Okay. That was cause for concern for a moment. But we're good. Yep, we're good. Okay. So now if I do that, there's a bit of lag when he goes down, but... He, he flies. 
He functions. Now, here's the question. Are the feet touching the ground? Yeah, it actually looks like the feet are kind of touching the ground here. Well, that's honestly kind of acceptable. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, God, he looks so cool. Oh, man. Okay, uh... I'm halfway tempted to actually make it so he, um... He... What am I thinking? He can fly? Well, I want him to fly, obviously, just because giant, evil-looking space whale is hilarious to me. Uh, so... Should put these here. Um... But there's also, like, that baseline temptation that I actually just keep him ground-based for the first round, and then we do round two and see if... Uh... <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't know. I'm probably too evil for my own good. Um... This is very true, actually. Okay. So you got a bunch of these right at the center of mass. Should lift it up, no problem. Oh, we're gonna need, uh... We're gonna need a big old set of... Um... Suspension glitches, otherwise this guy's gonna flip over. Do we... You know what? I'll probably save Grandpa... Grandpa Slugula. Ultra Slugula. We're gonna try flying it for a bit without, just just for the sake of hilarity. I think I'm gonna have the turning be on the ends, just because I think that'll make it turn faster. The alternative might just make it spin out or flip and do weird shit, and... I don't really want to do that. I'll probably have it along that, like, uh, center walking line that I've got there. That's the easiest way I can me measure everything out. Um... So we got... We've got forward momentum, we got upward momentum. Um... We should have some downward. Okay, so let's get let's get some buttons on here. All right, so we want uh, we're gonna want left and right immediately available. So let's do one, two. Okay, then we want then we're gonna want forward and okay. So what these are gonna do, so this lets me push down. These let me go forward. Um, can, I, can I even hide these in here? Or is it just going to be, it's just gonna be obvious, ah, crap. Okay, what if I, what if I just hide them right here on that stair? No, let's go up one step. It'll be a little bit low, but that's fine. Okay. I hope these are enough. Worst comes to worst, what we do is, uh... We actually go back to the, uh... Uh... Well, not drawing board, but we just up the, uh... The thruster level. Because we're just gonna go until I can't fit anymore. Okay. And then I'm gonna fit them here. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to work with them. Okay. So that's, that's gonna, so this is gonna be the right turn. So the back ones go opposite and we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah, hopefully there's gonna be enough. What I might also do is uh, expand some of the invisible blocks in the back. I might also put some invisible wheels on, on it, like actually make like a, a basic uh, chassis system so we can turn. Because uh, if I could actually have this guy work, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Instead of those weird spikes, so I'll bring him back up on the lift, and we'll put some wheels on it. Uh, just this way it would let let this thing actually roll around and stuff. Because uh, currently it would just kind of scoot awkwardly, and if we hit a bump or something, that could be a problem. Okay. So I'll have to I'll have to get back out and do that. Uh, I, I just really want to get this thing in the air quickly and see if see if it works. Cause if it does work, then happy day. And if it doesn't work, uh, God, I hope I hope we don't run into that situation where this thing just straight up doesn't function. That's kind of the worst case scenario. Uh, who knows? This uh, this thing, I mean. 
We might be uh, wildly overestimating everything, too. That's the that's the other consideration. Okay, so that this is gonna push us. It's gonna push this way. So this is left. Okay, so we want one. Two. Three. And four. And then the last is just going to be on. In retrospect, I might want to vary these a little bit, but that'll be fine. Okay. So let's hop out before we destroy the world. And let's save this sucker. Uh, you know what? We'll save it and seeing as we're we're here and doing this. Okay, we might as well get it on wheels. Okay, cuz yeah, we don't we don't have a whole lot of time here. And I would like to I would like to get this guy completed. Um I did I did give it enough space, time, whatever for this, right? No idea. Okay, so let's let's get rid of these spikes. They're cool. They I really dig them, but they're no they're no good for what we're doing right now. Okay. So we want to go to about right. Let's go one back from here. This way we can reach the uh, the easy entrance. Okay, and I'm gonna expand it a little bit further out here. Yeah, how far how far out do we want to expand it? Not too far. Maybe like right here. There we go. So that's that's connected. Let's get uh, invisible bearings, invisible wheels on here. Uh, there, there it is. So invisible bearing, invisible wheel. Okay, so yeah, this should this should work perfectly. This will weight it down a little bit, but since I think every single block Durf makes is pretty much just considered uh, light, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay, so. We're good. Yeah, I might even be able to put this thing on an end uh, and like give this thing engines and actually have it drive. Uh, turning would be impossible though, so I'm not going to bother with it. But we could do it. <laughs> oh man, I'm really proud of this build. I I know it's taken what like ten ten episodes to make this thing. Nine. This is the ninth episode, and then the tenth is going to be the um, uh, the tenth is going to be the well. The grand unveiling, I guess, for my poor friends. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's just do ultralights down, I think. Okay. Because, yeah, we don't need to do too much here. We just need it to go out to the base. The only reason why I'm doing this is just so it's not going to tip over easily. It's still going to be really top-heavy-ish, but it's not going to be as big of an issue. I don't know. I, I'm satisfied. And this should this should work no problem. If it does give me issues, then I'll have to come back out and fix them, or I'll nix the whole, the whole thing and just use the Minecraft slime. Because I'm going to be totally honest, the Minecraft slime is probably going to work just as well as this, this sucker will. Uh, just because that thing is dense and very maneuverable. Okay, so let's trial run. Take it off the lift. Okay. Yeah, gravity shits itself for a hot second there. But it seems to seems to be working okay. That's good. I wonder if I could... Oh, dude. I should make some invisible... Um, some invisible suspension glitches. Oh, but there's no invisible suspensions. I'll have to ask Durf about that. Because if we could have like a, a fully invisible... Suspension glitch, that'd be really cool. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's get in here. I gotta... Oh, you... No, 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 no. I know how to do this real easy. Okay, let's extend up and up and over. So what this will do... This gives me a really easy way of putting stuff on a lift. Because this is all hooked up to the ground. You can put lifts on things as long as it's connected to the environment. Um, so I can just summon in the uh, suspension and glitches here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's gonna that's gonna save me save me a decent amount of trouble. So let's just summon in. What do you think? Six. Six seems reasonable. More than that, I don't know. But yeah, this way we can get access to our um, our build. So let's have one. Okay. So how far is it? Okay. Let's see, no, I'm gonna have to pop out and grab him. Uh, I would have loved to have this thing animate properly. But, no dice. It's fine. Okay, so we want to just have it here. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna surround the, uh, the thrusters with suspension glitches. Or stability glitches. At some point, uh, I might figure out how to make this, uh, fit better. But I don't know. I'm gonna make, make sure everybody's gonna be able to make it tonight. I know, uh, I know Batbeard's available. I'm fairly certain Bird's gonna be around. But, like, Effie, Durf, uh... I guess really those are the only other two. Might see if like uh, I might see if like John Bain can join us. I think also uh, I have contact with Retrospects now. I should see if he's available for coming around. He he'd admittedly only be here for the uh, the final uh, the final round of Godzilla, but we could totally give them like uh, spare flying crafts. I mean I've got I got. Handfuls. I'm fairly uh, fairly sure John Bain is is well stocked in that regard. Okay. Well, I. Okay. Let's cut this off. We're gonna we're gonna save uh, Ultra Slugula. Uh, let's call it Ultra Slugula Two or something. Just very quickly. Okay. So we've got the Ultra Slugula final form. I like how it like tries to generate the uh, the thumbnail and it's just like I don't I don't know where or what or whatever. So I think the first thing we're gonna try and do is just have it uh, drive, uh, and turn. I'm not gonna try and get it to fly or anything like that. I think we'll leave that uh, we'll leave that for uh, a later moment. Okay, so forward. Oh my god. <laughs> um You make me weak. Okay. So Um. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be the thumbnail. Oh, oh yeah. I wish I could zoom out more than I is. Okay, so we have some problems. So the T3 thruster thrusters are more than enough to um completely override the um. Uh, they're they're more than strong enough to completely override the suspension glitches. However, gravity is not strong enough. So, initial impressions are, holy shit, this thing is way too fast. Uh, we might actually be able to get this thing to move with uh, regular thrusters. The other temptation is to say, screw it, and not, and just keep with this, and... Uh, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect, uh, let's turn our interface back on. I'm gonna disconnect these thrusters. Um, 
I'm just gonna go put some T3 thrusters in the back. Maybe. Let's go with uh let's go with T2. Uh, let's let's nix it. Eh, no 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 no. Let's nix it down to T1. Let's let's see. I'm gonna keep the forward thrust at T1. I think. Or forward thrust at like T3. Maybe maybe we'll. No, nah, let's let's overhaul it. This guy this guy is way too strong for what we're doing here. Hilariously so, mind you. But like I would like something that is capable of doing what I need it to do. So let's let's just bring this back. I'm just gonna put. Uh, Two in the back, and that should work. We're just gonna have to worry about uh, too much force, or not enough. I mean, this guy is still very large. He's just also made almost entirely out of uh, ultralight blocks. So he might not be as, like, as hard to deal with as I'm, like, making him out to be. Uh, we've obviously wildly overestimated uh, how much how much effort it's going to take uh, if she knows uh, to get this guy in the air we might be able to just do this because it holy shit yeah this guy's made except for these pipes this guy's made entirely out of ultralights these pipes these thrusters and like I oh the eye drums okay so yeah let's let's hook up all all six uh, I'll have to turn up the speeds probably and balance it out a little bit. Um, we might also have some, I might also put on some extra thrusters here and there as a means of, um, uh, put on, ah, crap. I might put on some extra thrusters as a means of correcting. Uh, Cause unfortunately these stability glitches just aren't enough to make up for the sheer amount of leverage that we've got on this thing. But we should be able to balance it out a little bit, especially now that I've got, I've, got just T1 on. Okay, so let's... Let's see. Uh, let's get rid of this now that I'm thinking about it. I'll check that out in a second. Uh, let's get up here and let's see if just a bunch of mid-level T1s are enough to lift this thing off the ground. Are they firing? Okay, they're firing. We're not moving. Alright, so let's try putting them up. Worst comes to worst, we go up to T2. And, I mean, really, the worst thing that could possibly happen here is all we need to do is just have this thing stay on the ground. Just use it as a gigantic land torpedo. I just want it to fly. But I kind of want the flight to actually... Uh, I want the flight to be a surprise. I mean, not that much of a surprise, but, you know, everybody's, like, moving in to attack him and he just flies right over them. Because that's kind of what I did with the... Uh, with... Darth Slykula, and it was hilarious, and it worked out great, and I want to do that again, but, uh, let's, uh, let's try and get this working for the time being. This poor dwarf is getting more exercise than I do in a given day. Poor guy. Okay. Five. Yeah, we have no liftoff. And these are on absolute maximum. I really hope somehow Durf can manage to take these visual effects and apply them to, like, T2 stuff. That'd be great. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna just flip this off. It ain't working. So if T3 was too strong, and T1's not strong enough, I guess we go T2 and hope for the best. I mean, we could also do a bunch of T1s, but, like, the uh, pass. All right, let's hook them all up. Uh, before we before we go too far, let's just um, let's just try this, and then I'll up the power on the back. Okay, it's actually staying incredibly level, all things considered. So maybe we don't mess with the back too much. Uh, maybe the lift provided is more than enough. Okay, I should probably feather this, just so we don't hit the ground too hard. I don't know what happens when, uh, the Ultra Slugula hits the ground. Doesn't look like it's, uh, nearly as bad as I'm making it out to be. Okay, so let's, uh, let's turn these down to, like, two. Because we had liftoff. We just don't want that much liftoff.
Okay, not enough liftoff. Unfortunately, feathering this is gonna be just kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, so let's just bring these up. Because, I mean, worst comes worst, yeah, we do get a uh, couple of T1 thrusters. And they're enough. Okay. Oh, we're in the air. Very interesting having this thing fly. Why does it roll so much? That's an interesting question. Well, okay, for starters, we don't need these T3s. I mean, fair question. Let's let's see if I can uh, let's see if I can keep everything localized to here. Um, let's go back and uh, I'm I'm gonna keep the lift thrusters in the back. I'm gonna see if I can actually get this thing to turn based off that bottom part. Maybe it won't roll. Oh yeah, maybe part of the reason why it was rolling is because uh, the turning was on um, on a different Z plane comparatively. Could be possible. Uh, I guess I'll go stitch these on and we'll figure it out. Okay, I will admit, I, I can't figure it out. I'm probably gonna leave this to smarter engineers and probably stick my entire friend group on this one after the unveiling. So, I'd like to get it flying, but the problem is no matter what, it makes it uh, tilt. Which probably has to do with the fact that this thing is really tall or stuff like that. I might be able to, like, uh, offset it with some other... Well, we could try that. Okay, let's, let's do that. Sorry, uh, taking a short break because... Things. Okay. Uh, so how do we do this? Um, we're gonna need we're gonna need some T2 thrusters probably. Also, uh, I realized something kind of annoying. Um, here, I I need to rehook this up. Uh, give me a bit. All right, so let's get rid of this one. I uh I accidentally um hooked up the turning wrong. So this is gonna push it to the right. Right? And this will this will push it to the left. It should. Here, let's let's just test this for a hot second. I can I can reach this. Oh, God. I have it on the lift. Of course that would cause problems. Multiple problems. Mucho problems. Did it pop into the air or something? That was weird. Okay, uh, so let's reach up here. Okay, so left, right. Okay, so that's good at least. All right, so let's uh, let's disconnect both of them because we need we need them to go to the the one above. Okay, so you, you get to be the one on top. Unless my seat somehow backwards or it gets like screwed up in the process, I don't know. Okay, uh, yeah, as it stands, I've I've got something that mostly functions. It's just small issues. All right, so yeah, I've, I've located the thrusters along the, the midline here, but apparently that's not enough. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna squirrel some... We're gonna squirrel some thrusters away in here for a short bit. Okay. What did, oh! Damn it! I hooked him up to the wrong thing. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Um. You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Prevents confusion. Okay. So you're left. You're forward. You're right. And you're. It's fairly efficient to rehook this thing back up. It'd be nice if I could have like a uh, seat seats by proxy or something. Or like a seat camera. Oh, that'd be a seat camera would be amazing. All right, so let's uh, let's get back up here, up here. So we want this. So let's go up very slowly. Now, when I turn left, I 
And when I turn right... I mean, it's kind of cool to tilt it around like this. But it causes mucho problema. Because normally this thing doesn't tilt up at all. Uh, okay, so got a couple of things we need to do. Uh, we need we need this these in the back. They're super super crucial to everything. Um, because it's very obvious that it's it's very front heavy and and these kind of push it up, but just with all the twisty turny, what's some who's it's uh, we're we're running into a situation where. Sometimes the ass is going to be pointed straight into the sky, and yeah, I don't want to deal with that. So I'm just going to put this here. Probably? No. I got one more switch. We're just going to use it for that. Did I have another button? I might. I'll double check. I think I, think I might have a spare button up here, otherwise I'll tie it to the switch. We want all the buttons and switches to be in the front, even if this does does end up being a little bit of a time-consuming um, run. I really wish there was just creative mode flight in this game. I can't believe they don't have that. Uh, but this way we'll be able to shove the ass back down whenever we do the turning thing. I mean... Yeah, there's... Yeah, this, this'll work. Okay. Or it's not going to. Okay, that's annoying. Well, we gotta go back anyway. I just have to make sure I don't miss this time. Um, so let's let's bring this back over here. Slowly and surely. Okay, got it. So we've got these. Let's just let's just try this. It might work. It might fail. It might fail really nah. it Might fail m really miserably. I guess we'll find out, so let's bring this up here. There we go. Okay, so now we should have the ability to... Let's go up into the air. I'll just give it some time. So I can put my butt down if I need it. Which is actually super helpful. Okay, so if we turn... We still tilt really bad. But yes, I can bring my butt back down to the ground. It's not perfect. So let's, uh... Let's turn these up. I mean, again, worst comes to worst, we just nix flying until, uh... Wiser, wiser builders than I uh, can help me out here. The only problem is... I want to see from pretty much everybody I know. Okay. So that's too much. Uh, from everybody that I know, I'm probably the most experienced scrap mechanic, uh, player. Uh, I'm fairly certain there's a couple more people, like maybe Brent Batch and... I, you know, I'd, I'd probably say John Bain, who know more about how this game functions. Uh, and can make some of the more impressive stuff, but I think just in terms of sheer experience, I got him beat. Okay, so it still tilts, so we need just a little bit more, I think. Push that ass back down. Yeah, I mean, again, if if this just simply will not work, then this... That's fine. Okay. So let's try going very slowly up into the air. I mean, the other thing is we could maybe get enough suspension glitches to get this guy to turn. He Weird part is, he's not actually that heavy, still. Yeah, the main problem is he just... Alright, screw it. Let's let's just try go, just going forward and turning. I mean, it works great. Alright, let's ruin everything. Okay, we broke it pretty hard. That's some collision. Okay, yeah, this will have to do. So we don't... We don't have the, um... We don't have the Ridiculoso thing that we wanted. But, we have Ultra Slugula. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna save Ultra Slugula to the workshop. And I'm gonna share it. Uh, I'm gonna share this for everybody who wants a crack at this guy. 
If you guys want to make an improved Ultra Slugula, be my guest. In fact, please, please do so. If you guys can get this to turn without lagging the server too much, if you guys can get it to fly better than I can, I, I was just talking about me being more experienced, I'm fairly certain a number of you guys are way more experienced than I am. And I'm not afraid to crowdsource to the experts. So, thank you guys for watching this, uh, the longest build I've ever spent time on. I think the closest were the transforming rocket car and, uh, the, the failure that was, uh, Scrap Trap. And then everything else has been, you know, pretty short builds. I guess, uh, Scrap House took a while, but Scrap House was, like, multiple things. God, he's such a satisfying build, and he's gonna be so satisfying to use. He still works, like, that's the nice part. We got fallbacks. It's just... You know, <laughs> the main the main mechanic didn't work out, but yeah, that's fine too. And we can always make him float, even if that's probably a bit of a mistake. I don't know. Either way, uh, thanks everybody for watching this ridiculous nonsense. I'll see you guys next time. We're probably going to be showing uh, showing off the Godzillas tonight, or in a couple of days. Kind of depends. We'll see how uh, we'll see if we can wrangle everybody. If we can wrangle them soon. Great. If we can't. Uh, I just realized we've got some extraneous blocks here that need to be dealt with. I never really did make this area symmetrical, did I? Well, I, um... It's a pain in the ass. Actually, it's not, it's not really that big of a deal. So we do this, and we do that, and... There we go. Yeah, so anyway, thanks everybody for watching this. It was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys next time.